This is the second time former Upper West Regional Minister, Lawyer Beat and Watausma Zeden has penciled his name to contest parliamentary primaries in the Laura constituency. In fact, he stood on the ticket of the Democratic Freedom Party, DFP, in the Laura Nondom constituency in 2008 in an election that was described as a battle for the lawyers. The election was won by Ambrose Derry, who made his debut in parliament and was elected deputy minority leader. Following the merger of the Democratic Freedom Party and the National Democratic Congress in 2011, Bill Zeden renewed his parliamentary ambition in 2016 and contested for the primaries. It was a close contest between him and former member of parliament, Asibi Samson Abu, who the former won. The aftermath of the primaries was catastrophic, leading to divisions in the party. Samson Asibi Abu felt cheated and severe ties with the party. Several persuasions from the party for him to be back failed. He went solo and contested the 2016 election as an independent candidate. The strength of the NDC in the Laurel constituency was then divided, allowing Anthony Nyo Abay Fakabo to win by Jesse Whisker. Bid Zedan says he is going to Saturday's contest with a butterflies in his stomach and is confident of winning. I've been there since 1992, and I've worked there, I've operated, I've been with them, and so I have no doubt at all in my mind that come this primaries, I will win it. We'll go into the 2020 election, and it is quite clear from the performance of the NPP government, and for that matter, by extension, the MP for Laura, that their performance has been very, very abysmal. His only challenger... For Saturday's contest is New York-based branch secretary of the party, Daniel Tigbe. There were doubts about his eligibility for the primaries following a petition by some supporters of the party. Daniel Tigbe, an accountant by profession, says his focus will be on uniting the party and giving jobs to the youth. Um, in one way or the other, developmentally, we are lacking behind, so we want to bring a speed into to lobby for projects and programs that will bring some kind of liberation upon the lives of the people within Laura. Two, for some years now there have been some kind of disunity among the party faithful in Laura. We want to conscientize that. We want to bring every faithful party member together so that we can work as brothers and sisters. It will be another two horses race in the Wais constituency. Former Wais member of parliament I mean, Salifu, who lost the seat by the hair of his teeth, is back and with a bang. He says he's coming back to finish projects that he has started and which has now been abandoned by the MPP. Because my record speaks for itself. As my people will say, Nimbri Balon, poor Balon, look at electricity from three communities to 68 communities unprecedented which is significant in the Cisale area we've got only about four or five communities to cover which is very significant we started with the roads but the roads hasn't been uh, it hasn't been as we were expected before we left government and I think that with some of us uh, with our lobbying skills with what we've known about the area because I've got an in-depth knowledge of what is which I think would help uh, massively to make sure that we cover the area. The first step of achieving that feat is to beat Wakam Post UDS lecturer Dr. Godfrey Sedu Jasau, who is entering the race for the first time. Dr. Jasau is hopeful that given the opportunity, agriculture will be his main target. Why is constituency represents an agricultural hub? It's, it, it can potentially become the food basket of this region if we get the right proposal, the right positions, the right uh, policies in place. And I think that I will lead a crusade to bring some transformation to the agri sector in the place. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wa.